Welcome back to another episode of Peasant Simulator 1403. That's the 15th century, gentlemen. And we're going to get back at it. So where we left off, I was about to rob the blacksmith. Or not the blacksmith. I'm the blacksmith. I was about to rob the executioner. And as we all know, Henry's such a great guy. He, he'll rob anybody. The dead... And then he'll make you feel bad for robbing the dead. Because that's just the kind of guy that uh, our boy Henry is. Very much so King Material right there. I'm gonna hit C. Gonna do some sneaking. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Ooh, I want that. Ah, can't pick up a hoe. I don't want to play a game where I can't pick up hoes. I don't have any lock picks. Ha ha! Ha ho! Oh no. Okay. I think though, I think though I'm not supposed to be over here anyway at this point. Like I think I'm actually very nice, very nice. I think I'm actually supposed to go over here. So cruising on up, cruising on up. There it is. Robbing graves, stealing Christ, from executioners. How long have you been lying here? Gotta give it to you, Henry. You're just you're just a fucking swell guy. Nothing on the left hand. The right. Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <sighs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. Oh, some fresh blood on this execution table. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up here with the uh, trail this guy, young Henry, is on. Whip out my sword and put it back. I have to say the uh, the shrubbery in this game is quite nice. Oh fuck! Oh, okay, I thought I was gonna fall. I feel like we're actually getting somewhere with this game. Oh, the baths. I'd like to uh, order something here. And what is it you'd like? I've... Uh heard you have nice girls here. Oh no, come on, but Henry. Money first, though. That's too much. It's not worth it to me. As you wish. Good on you, Henry. Take care. <laughs> I'll just keep washing myself in a trough. <laughs> Let's see where I'm going. Okay. It's just up the road there. Cool. Am I heading the wrong way? I'm heading the wrong way, aren't I? There we go. That's the right way. Do 
Gotta slow down. This is in Halo 3. Can't sprint forever. What kind of trick were you trying to pull? The blacksmith's mad. God be with you. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right. I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past a lock? Get past a lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity. Like popping a young maiden's cherry. Oh. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. Fucking hell. How did I get landed with a cretin like you? I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. May the Lord want you. Try and look at this trunk. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumble. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism at the right moment. It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Now try poking around in the lock pick until you feel the right point where the tumble is. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumble with the pick. Otherwise, you'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. You forced it and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. What the hell? You're a dab hand, Hal. Make something out of you yet. Remember, this trunk's only for practice. I didn't do so good at that. Try it a few more times, if you like. Thank you. Good luck with the bill. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's go give it a try. <laughs> that was a sweet parkour. Oh, you gotta wait for him to catch his breath. I wonder if robbing the dead is gonna become like a like a thing that Henry does a lot in this game. So I'm hoping this recording comes out a lot smoother than yesterday's stuff did. Although I was able to get a second stream and everything going, I still had a few technical difficulties. Today I'm just trying a record to see how that comes out for this game. I haven't had a problem with Rainbow Six, and I haven't had a problem with uh, um, 
Rising Storm Vietnam, so I'm not sure exactly why this one was giving me trouble. Also, this game ran a lot smoother on my old machine, which had lower specs, which is interesting. I'm going to have to really take a look at what's going on. Um, I was having so many problems yesterday. One of the guys that was watching the stream was like, we're going to have to set you up a Patreon to, to get you a new computer. It was kind of funny, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I don't know. Let's pick this lock. But I know this game's supposed to be, like, full of bugs and stuff. I mean, it was just a couple guys that made it. So, like, it doesn't really surprise me that there's issues with it. I, I don't know. <clears throat> I love how in, like, video games that are, like, medieval-themed, it's always one kind of dog. There's never multiple kinds of dogs. It's just the one kind. Fuck. Ah! My lock picking. I just need to take it slow. I just need to take it slow. Fuck. That's the kind of finesse you can expect with someone as tactical as me. This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict, and um, this convict, um, was a family man. He left three young children, and I thought it might ease their hearts if I gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour. I'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing. Children, you say? You're right, I do have the ring. But actually, it's a worthless bauble. You can have it for a few groschen. A few groschen? I can make that happen. Or I could go steal it. Ah, eh, let's go get the money. I don't... Oh, over encumbered. That's okay. We'll just walk back. Or, actually, you know what? Let me see if there's anything useless that I have. Yeah, that's rotted. That can go away. That can go away. Ah, eh, that didn't really help me much. Oh well, you walk at a pretty reasonably fast pace. I can probably just walk back to the village. I apologize to you guys in advance for having to watch this, but... Yeah. I get like two or three viewers on my videos anyway, so what's... What, what do I care? I'm pretty sure it's that damn shield that's really really holding me back here. But, since it's no longer considered stolen, I'll just sell it. That'll get me a few monies. Right? I hope so. The first time I played this game, I did so much thievery. I actually stole that guy's sword. Um, I did so much thievery that uh, I, every time I saw a guard, they'd just shake me down. And luckily, by that point, I had made enough money to where, like, it didn't really matter if I was stealing anymore. Like, I kind of stopped stealing because I, I knew, one, I knew I was going to be, be shook down, and then, like, two, because, like, I had enough money and could buy pretty much whatever I wanted and uh, just kind of was doing a bunch of bandit murders and stuff. So, like, I didn't really get too far in the actual story, but I did get kind of decently far as far as, like, 
owning decent armor. And that's like a big key in this game is like the combat's hard until you actually get yourself some steel because then you can afford to get hit a few times. Uh, if you get hit a couple times while you're not wearing armor, uh, you're kind of you're fucked. Um, also, um, maces and axes and other weapons do a lot better against like armored enemies, which is good. You have to kind of plan your attacks accordingly if you're using a sword. Oh, I can't even jump like this. Um, so there's that too. There's a lot to like think about with the combat, which is something I, I rather enjoy. Um, I know the combat's a pain point for some people in this game. They think it's a little clunky. But, you know, the good thing about this game is it doesn't make you feel like a... You're not like a Robin Hood type. You're not like Sir Badass. Like, you're the peasant boy. And they treat you as such. And I really kind of appreciate the realism that goes involved with that. I mean, right down to the save shops, right? Like, it's brutal. And it's hard. And they punish you. So, I don't know. It's a game that if I've got a little extra time, I like to play. Um, if I don't have a lot of time during the week, I like to play other things. Um, shooters, more things that are a little bit more quick-paced. But like, if I've got like a day to myself, this is a good game to play. And I'm hoping that if you guys like this series, that I can keep creating the series until I'm done with the game. Um, and just kind of keep it going. That's why I started it from the beginning. And I might do that with a few other games in the future. Um, I'm really interesting to I'm really interested to see how uh, the new Far Cry is going to be because honestly it doesn't look too good. Um, I mean I, I I have Far Cry um, five, but this like Far Cry direct sequel that they're doing it 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 doesn't look good, but. I like the other Far Cry games, so I think I'm going to give it a chance. And when that game comes out, I'll probably buy it. And who knows? Maybe I'm part of the problem. Maybe I'm part of the reason why we keep getting shitty games. You know what I mean? Maybe that's on me. Although, um, I will say, I will not buy another EA game. Out of principle. Where did that nest fall? Couldn't have fallen out inside a place where I could see it. Huh? God, where the fuck did that nest go? That has, like, good shit in it, man. I found my shitty arrow. I don't give a fuck about that. I just want the nest. Where did it go? For those of you that may think I'm wasting my time here, if you find those, like, oftentimes there's, like, good shit in it. Like, things you can sell. I made a lot of money off of a medallion that I found in one. There it is. Ah. Yeah, no, like, one time I found, like, a pretty good fucking medallion in one. That was good. It was a good find. Put my bow away. Those little hidden objects, man. I'll tell you what. So another thing that I have issues with is um, I have a couple of decent DSLRs that I use um, in my work life and etc. Right? Um, so I have set these up 
for like my video recordings of myself, but I cannot get them attached to my computer. And I've looked up a lot of different ways to do this and I don't want to use Bluetooth or wireless because I don't want to slow down the stream or the gaming experience any more than it is. My computer's kind of in tree tier. So as, as far as like a powerful gaming computer goes, it's in tree tier for, you know, the moms and the common man, it's pretty powerful. But, and I can actually use it for a lot of editing and stuff that, you know, I do. But uh, I don't want to complicate things. Um, I may or may not get a webcam so I can do this a little easier and not have to worry as much about uh, all of that so I can hardline it. And I may or may not get a capture card in the future. But as of right now, I'm doing where I will stream these and then I'll slap together a recording. Um, at a later later time with like my actual video feed um, so if you're ever watching one of my streams oh fuck you'll see um, you'll probably see uh, that reflected um, if I'm doing a stream you're probably not going to see me Getting the archery good in this game is also a, a tricky task. Um, the bows suck. I'm also hunting on King's Land, so this is probably not good. I probably shouldn't be doing this. But I like that money. And people are poor. And they like meat. See, see how close that was? And they're just standing there. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I got him. Hoping I can like corner them or something. Uh oh. There we go. This might come into play later, but I did get some good stuff. I'm a little worried about staying here, so we're going to get out of this place. Um, put that down. Pull my bow back out just in case, because I think I see. Would you look at that? A nice little hair. That'll go great in somebody's stew. Again, my apologies for being such a shitty shot in this game. It's really, really, really hard to use a bow in uh, Peasant Simulator 1403. Motherfucker. I mean, just imagine never being taught how to use a bow, having no idea how it's done, and then being given one. Um, I did a little bit of bow shooting when I was in like elementary school and middle school and stuff. So I have a pretty decent idea. I haven't really touched one since, but like 
it's not easy, especially when they first hand it to you. And if you're not taught how to use it, which this poor peasant wasn't, yeah, good luck, man. So, another thing I find really good about this game is that level of, like, you have to really train yourself to get good at things, and I don't know. That's admirable um, in a video game. You, you don't start out as God. Like, one of the things that I thought was really cool about uh, Far Cry 3, for example, one of the things that really sold me on the series, because um, I played Far Cry 3 before I played the other Far Cries, um, the great thing about Far Cry 3 was that you you started kind of bad at things and and though he was still able to take on like whole groups of pirates um you didn't know how to do everything right away like you had to actually learn how the weapons were used and you had to learn how this that and the other thing was used um yeah i mean it wasn't just just a cakewalk, you know what I mean? Like, it was pretty... You you had to, like, work yourself up to certain points. Even though, I mean, you I mean, you could just take a pistol and take down an entire group of pirates. Easy. But you still had to work yourself up. I don't know. I thought it was good. I know people were kind of upset about Far Cry 3 and it's, like, racial things. Like, you're a white guy killing a bunch of... Oh, whoa, shit. Did you guys see that? Go and mind your own business. You know, that was something that, you know, I always thought was kind of a problem. I don't know. I didn't really see it like that. Um, I, I guess I could see how people could. The thing that does bother me about Jason Brody is more that he's just kind of like a whiny dude. Um, he's real whiny and like, I don't know. But watching that whiny little little rich boy actually become a like a good fighter and become a man, more or less, whatever that means, um, I thought was cool. Um, I want to see more of that kind of thing in video games. Watching someone go from being garbage to great. And in, like, Far Cry 4 and 5, I mean, 5, you do get better as time goes on, and you do start kind of where the cult kind of beats you up. But once you get to a certain point, they're cake. Once you get to a certain point in Far Cry 3, they're cake, too. But in Far Cry 4, you're just a badass from start to finish. At least, I think so. I mean, there's that first little part where you get kind of torn up, and there's, like, not a lot of ammo. But the rest of the game is just, like, really gun-heavy and ammo-heavy and... You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I gotta. But we'll see what this next one looks like. It looks like it really wants to be like, I think my friend um, Esau said it best. It looks like it's going to be the new Far Cry, a cross between Fortnite and Fallout. And that's unfortunate. I really don't have a problem with Fortnite. I know there's a lot of people that talk a lot of shit on it. Um, I don't play it because I have other Battle Royale games that I prefer to play. Like, if I'm going to play a Battle Royale game, I'm going to play Rust. I really like Rust. Um, in fact, my buddies and I started, like, a kind of like a clan type thing in Rust. And it became my second job for a really long time. Collecting things for the clan, creating bullets for the clan... Helping with the building, getting weapons built, like, and then I was a foot soldier. So when we would go out on raids, I did a lot of watching. While people would go through the raid, I would watch a, a corner or I'd watch a section around the base. Um, and we did fairly well for ourselves. Um, it's just that it got to the point where I wasn't talking to my girlfriend very often and, like, I wasn't hanging out with people outside of work, and I just was playing Rust all day, every day. And it wasn't something that I could just, like, hit for an hour and then jump off. Like, I'd get caught up in it, and then all of a sudden we'd be, like, in a firefight, or, you know, we'd be going and getting revenge on people, and <clears throat> I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to stop. Maybe one day I'll join back up with my buddies from the 
the the clan and if, if i ever get more free time maybe i'll hop on and help them out again but it seems like after i left too they kind of disbanded there was this raid we went on where um we had a rival known as ladona the donut and she uh was just always on i don't know i don't know what she did for a living maybe she just played rust for a living some lady down in mexico and every time well we almost never see her it was like from the first day we were on rust um as a unit to the day i left she was like our big enemy and you'd almost never see her and then you just end up dead and then another guy would end up dead and um a lot of people thought that she were she was a hacker i don't by that, I think Ladonia was just really talented. So I'm not going to be like, oh, hacker. Um, I want to see proof of that before I start accusing people. But Ladonia and Fuzzbucket, and they would build these like little proxy bases to like get people to come and raid them with nothing in them. And then we'd go raid them, and then they'd just show up and slaughter us. Uh Fuzzbucket was a little bit easier to handle, but Ladonia was a little bit of a chore. And that last night, we had gotten some of our rivals to join our side. And by the end of the night, they were like, we're done with Rust. Rust is done. We're stopping. We can't be playing this with hackers. And then, like, I told my group, like, I don't want to play on the server anymore. This whole hit back and forth with Ladonia that we've been doing since day one... We're not getting anything out of it, and she's not getting anything out of it. We should just move on to a different server. Because the server was fairly small and, and fairly noob-friendly. Except for Ladonia and uh, our team, which was... Uh, God, what was our title again? I think we were... Oh, Ramrod. Team Ramrod. Which is great, too, because I actually, uh, using my Photoshop skills, um, I actually designed all of our logos and stuff, which... It was a lot of fun. But I personally think, like, the best thing about video games is that whole team effort thing. Getting together with a bunch of guys and playing, or, or ladies, or whatever. And uh, the cool thing about Rust is you can really create a community in Rust. Um, little towns that get built, little, you know. And, and although there are thieving bastards that will come in and take your shit, and people that don't play nice... A lot of times you'll run into people that are actually good people and, and nice and fun to play with, and you can really create a little a little town and a little world and, like, really talk to people. And then there's the, the looting and the raiding and the the, gun sh the, the the bloodshed, you know, the fun stuff. So that's one of the things. I really like this idea of, like, community-based um, games. And, and the cool thing about Rust, too, is you start buck naked. Um, you probably won't see me play too much of Rust, like I said, I kind of beat myself up over it. And Rust isn't optimized well. You need 16 gigabytes of RAM to run Rust. And though I have 24 gigabytes of RAM, I am a little bit worried about trying to stream or record and run Rust at the same time. Because I would run into problems when I had 16 gigabytes of RAM before I upgraded, uh, where even just in like little firefights, my computer would kind of like freeze up and I'd lose frames. And it was a nightmare. Uh, trying to, to win firefights while you're, you're, you're losing frames is not fun. I mean, I was able to do it a lot of times. But a lot of rust is, like, not how good you are. A lot of rust is, like, either who takes the first shot, who runs out of ammunition first, or who's the lucky one. You know? There's a lot of that. So, um, I'm, I'm sure just, like, in, like, actual life, right? Like, I mean, skill has a lot to do with things, but... Halt! Who are you, and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now, bugger off. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Oh, he won't be. I feel quite hungry. 
I'm gonna go to the actual blacksmith hill here and sell him a few things. <clears throat> but yeah, man, like, Rust is great. And, and one of the cool things about Rust, too, is, I mean, you can have all the AK-47s and armor in the world, but if, I mean, you could get jumped by a dude with a sword running at you, and if you, like, backpedal and run for your life, like, they get close enough. If they close that distance, if they can close the distance on you, you could end up dead. Um, I knew people that would, like, throw weapons at people and murder them that way. Um, just so many possibilities. What a, what a cool game. I, again, though, I, I just wished it was optimized better. Um, I don't know if it's on console yet. I think that was something that they were talking about doing. But um, even on PC, not very well optimized. Uh, I don't know. What do I know? I'm just a lowly blacksmith peasant. I have to eat something. My insides all right, are shriveled all up right, with the food. All right, all right. Get that nourishment all the way up. Dang, this fool can drink, can eat. This is a little mini game I enjoy. see the blacksmith. Let's wait about a couple hours. Hopefully I don't die of being poisoned in a couple hours. I did kind of eat something that was rotten. Yeah, I did fuck myself up kind of bad. God be with you. And God with you, sir. Let's talk about trade. That's his stuff. I need to remember that. That is worth a bit of gold there. Should I sell that? I could get some better armor and stuff with that. Yeah, let's do it. I know that was a really good sword, guys, um, but... Uh, my shard is just a little bit lesser, and I'm not at the level where I can really use it effectively. So I'm going to I'm going to do that. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to make this this gold. Uh, we're going to get that bread. <laughs> um. All right. So I think we'll check the basket. I'll close the deal. Heck yeah, man. 
clean up a little bit. I'm sure I look like shit. And let's see about healing up. Oh, yeah, I gotta sell that deer meat. That'll get me a pretty penny. Maybe I can get some marigold for that. Not looking good. Yeah, buddy, see how much money that gets you? Close the deal. Seems you're trying to flog me stolen goods, so you better drop the price. As long as we can both agree on the price. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Eh, just give it the price that she asked for it. I don't care. <clears throat> I just want the money. He said a few bucks. I'm pretty sure I can probably pay off this apothecary, but we'll see. I'm gonna go look at, oh, wait, that guy's a quest giver. Ah, we'll worry about that later. Um, I'm pretty sure I can pay off homeboy. So let's see. So by this point in the game, there were already pole axes just laying around on the ground. I don't think that happens till later. Um, yeah, I don't actually see anybody with a pole axe, so there's that too. Um, I think the guy I need to pay. Is up over here. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright eyed and bushy tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. About that debt. Here you are. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honor. Yeah, see, selling that Is sword. Is there anything else I can do for you? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. Would you teach me more about alchemy? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Now, pay close attention. Wait, I bet he's got marigold. God be with you.
Let's bring this price down a little bit. Get some old boots. All right, check the basket. Let's take some of that marigold. I don't like to run around with low health. And that'll heal me up over time. All right, let's go to this armor shop. See if I can get me some decent armor and ornaments. Uh, where is the armor shop? Is this the armor shop? That's a church. I think there's actually some armor shop or some armor in this sword shop, so I'll go in there. Let's talk. Good day to you. No, he's only got weapons. And boy are they expensive. Uh yeah. I could probably buy that one. But we're okay. The shop guard. Um I know there's armor around here somewhere. Maybe I get armor from the tailor? Oh, that's the barber. Is the armor smith up here? See Shara. No, no. I know there's an armor smith around here. None of that's armor. But it does look nice. This is like a fancy pants place to get stuff. I, however, I want armor. I don't care about looking fancy. Although, with certain people, looking fancy helps you. Well, maybe this guy has. Here we go. Axes, rake! Maybe this is the guy that I'm looking for. I forget. It's been so long since I've played this game, guys. I apologize. I bought it when it first came out and only played it for a small amount of time. Whenever it decides to load. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What? 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 Did he's missing a face? He's missing a face! Uh, you got a bunch of shit. Uh, brown jacket. Nope, you don't have anything I want. I know there's an armor smith around here. It's like that in Oblivion, you guys remember the shield guy? The guy that would sell the shields? It's like hidden, you know? Maybe it's over here. No, I don't think so. Good health to you. Yeah, no, you're just like the swordsmith. Um, fuck it. I'm just gonna go to the blacksmith unless I see it. I thought it was up there, but I guess it's not. I don't know. I'm an idiot, so. Or is that it? No, that's just a regular merchant. Big dummy over here, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Going back to my friend the blacksmith. The blacksmith is really good for, like, starting weapons and stuff, too. Like, things to get you going. But if you find the shard, you should be good. 
Especially because like Henry like like starts with better swords I'll be with you. than anything else. So like I just kind of stick with that. Plus, swords are kind of like that. Like oh yeah, this is the cool. It's like what's cool, right? So let's sell that stupid shield I have. Ugh, only 25? Alright, whatever, man. So he's only got helmets. Um, let's get this two-piece kettle helmet. It looks nice enough. And then we'll see if we can find the... Uh, Can we do something about the price? Why not? Just kind of. Ah, oh, that would do it. I like to haggle, but I don't like to be like too much of a dick about it. All righty, going back. I really, I really don't have to. I've settled my debt, but let's just go back anyway. Hopefully, we'll get into a fight. Yeah, that'd be neat. Stop for a minute. I'll just give you a quick search. No, oh, they know Can I'm a thief now. Can you hear me? What? Such are my orders. Ooh, they know I'm a thief. You want to pick over my personal effects? You can't be serious. Don't get all high and mighty with me. You're just making it harder on yourself. If you right. insist. That didn't hurt a bit, now did it? Carry on. Oh, cool. <laughs> I don't have anything that's stolen. Well, I do. It's just that nobody's looking for it anymore. Well, neat, guys. I got away. All right, heading back to the blacksmith. I'm sorry you guys had to see all that. That I know that was a lot of uh, me just running around doing dumb things. But hey, Ugh. fuck it, man. Now, one of the things that I find really useful in this game as well, um, you will have to fight bandits and such. Um, and ah. a tactic that I like to do, and I'm hoping to get to it eventually, um, is I take out my bow, so I can show you. Um, I fire an arrow at them, and then I run back through the forest until it's just one guy following me. And then I fight that one guy head to head, go back in, find a next guy, hit him with an arrow, run back, fight him head to head, and so on until they're all dead. Um, I know that doesn't sound like super effective, but it's really the best way to actually win a battle in this game. Because um, if you're, you're getting hit from multiple sides, good luck, man. Like, you're fucked. So. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm still going over the blacksmith. He's on the other side of the forest. I think if I run up this way, I'll be okay. Also, because I know that there are sometimes um, enemies up this road, I'm going to save. Uh, yeah. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Okay, cool. Shrine. Um yeah, I know I have a limited number of save, sh save schnapps, and they're kind of expensive, but like I've told you guys in the past, this game has really messed me up with saves before. I've lost hours of gameplay because I was an idiot and got jumped on the road. 
Especially if you get jumped by the cumin. Yeah. Your uh, your day is over, and you you'll lose hours of gameplay. So, saving, as in any game, is really important. See, that's what I'm talking about. Remember when I was looking for that nest earlier, and it took me forever. I just found the nest, and that thing's gonna get me a lot of gold, a lot of money, and I didn't steal it. And that little amount of money will probably do a good job getting me, I don't know, maybe like some greaves or something. So. I also get a lot of my armor from murdering bandits. And this game does have a lot of nothing going on. Um, it's a lot of running around. And then when you do get in combat, yeah, you know the drill. Uh, I don't know, some people don't like that, but I find it kind of peaceful that there's not just like hordes and hordes of enemies all the time, you know. It reminds me a lot of a more realistic Oblivion, and I know that that's what they were going for when they built this game. Um, I don't know. It's kind of peaceful and kind of like stress relieving until you actually get to where they start treating you like a peasant and like you get beat up by bandits. Should probably slow down a little bit. And, like, I think, like, my first day playing this, I was running around um, out here, and a couple of dudes with pole arms came out, like, halberds? Well, I think it was just pole arms. I don't think that they were full-on halberds. Um, they had pole axes, and they came out of the, of the brush and started attacking me, and I didn't know what to do. Um, I couldn't close the distance between their pole arms, and they just ganged up on me and murdered the shit out of me, and I was pissed i came back later and armored up so i could fight them and they were gone so i didn't lose too much time on that one because i had been saving but like i got jumped by some cumins while doing a mission looking for some bandits one time and it ruined my day like they fucked me up they were armored up good I'm back with the money for the ring. All right, here it is. I don't know why it's worth so much to you, though. It's a piece of junk. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. Well, you know, he's breeding me to be a... You can also fast travel in this game, but fast traveling, like, it takes you almost amount, about the same amount of time to get places, I don't know. I kind of just prefer to run around and look at things and hopefully find something and maybe get jumped by some bandits. It's just better that way. It's 
just better that way. Are you selling things? Let's see what you got. Yeah, I'm okay. God be with you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the miller in Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean, the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. I've got some goods here whose owners might miss them. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. Alright, now's where I'm a little bit nervous about getting into a fight. I'm gonna save the game again. I'm gonna have to buy more of these save schnapps. <sighs> yep, that I am. What's this knight doing, just like hanging out Sir, around here? A word, if you please. What is it? I'd like to challenge you to a duel, sir. A little amicable combat. That sounds interesting. But what shall we fight for? Ah, so chivalry alone is not enough to tempt you. No, sir. I'm drawn to more uh, glittering knights. I see. Why not? Let us make it more interesting, then. I'll tell you what. I have a fine suit of armor, a horse and a sword I want at dice. The horse and sword I can use, but the armor doesn't fit me well. I'll bet a piece of armor against a reasonable sum of groschen. I don't have that much coin on me. You're the one who wants a wager, friend. I'm still willing to fight you for honor alone, if you so wish. Why not? I could use a little exercise. Excellent. I see you have no fear. Let's get to it then. Are you guys ready to watch me get my ass kicked?
Ow. <laughs> that was bad, guys. I'm gonna just like wait a little bit. Maybe a couple hours. Maybe see if I can heal up a little bit. That was... I don't know. I think I lost. I think I lost. At least he didn't kill me. No. That didn't help me at all. Uh, maybe I should bandage up. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, I don't think you actually know how to block yet, too. Like, I think you have to actually go and learn that from somebody. Like, you can block, but you can't, like, know when exactly to parry and when exactly to block. Um, so that's an issue. You did get a couple nice swings on him, though. Almost there. Well, it's nice to know that I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Haven't been jumped yet either, which is nice. I'm just gonna run across. I know this can like fuck up your armor too, so I gotta be careful about doing shit like this, but. Jesus Christ be praised. Miller Peshek from Ratoy sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. <laughs> Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the? Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's That's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations, you passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Now, pay close attention. God be with you. I feel like buying skills is really important. That was a big thing in Oblivion as well. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's important, so I do it. Uh, we're going to go right back over to the lower gate. Oh, I guess it doesn't take as much time, but it is still a bit slow, especially if you're traveling long distances.
Good day to you. What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? I'm not a thief. Find someone else. A pox on you, your kin and all your descendants. Call yourself a Christian, turning your back on a neighbor in need. Well, your back's already turned to me, so. <laughs> God be with you. <laughs> That's good. That's cr that's crisp. I think maybe he's above him. Maybe I'll see if the the armorer is above the swordsmith. No, it's it's locked. I thought for sure there was an armorer in this town. Is a swordsmith? I thought there was, but I, I could be. There he is. Ah, I'm so dumb. Let's get some of that. Good health to you. Good luck to you. Mm -hmm. Wow. We'll go by price. Wow. Um, yeah, I can't afford that. But we will go see our good friend Saradzig. I think it's about time I did that. No, well, that's the way I already went. Map. Map, the map, the map. <gasps> Maybe I should buy some nice clothes. I'll have my shitty pair to run around. Oh no, they're locked. Huh. Hmm. Done for the day? Oh, I guess so. It is getting close to evening. We'll go back there later. Maybe she'll have some? No. Pastries. Let's see how this goes. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I know, Henry. You're you so fucking stupid. I oh, have to bury my see, parents. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't all right, right that. okay. I guess you're I not so stupid after all, Henry. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use mm. of it. Don't you're be an right. idiot, Hal. And just what are you doing here? I'm going to speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? 
My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzig. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. No, at least these guys are nice to me. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to try to lockpick that. It'd be a bad day. Chambermaid. Let me get out of my face. Did she just disappeared? Oh, there she is. Yeah, private area, private area. Where's that? Did, did I go the wrong way? I did. I did go the wrong way. Man, this Henry guy, I'll tell you, man. Like, he just, he doesn't know where to go. He's robbing people and then getting mad at people for robbing people. He's a real, like, double standard kind of guy. But he's, he's Henry, so... Not that that means anything. You're a peasant, Henry. Definitely not the kind of chap I'd want to hang out with. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. But I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Birkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Birkstein this happy ass music while we're talking about like wish, politics and shit. It's just as great. well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanush. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. <laughs> I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. To give him his due, I don't think he expected to give him his Jew. To stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Mm. Money is the root of all Jeans. evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. Oh. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? 
Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. <laughs> <laughs> Women. And then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, True. it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will Sorry, guys. To heaven. My Z camera E1 ground first, uh, ran out of juice. So, plump I had to go pop another, uh, I had to go pros. pop another, uh, battery in it hopefully i didn't mess like up my another. framing or so anything which were your hopefully this still looks okay those of Sigismund's but uh me, why yeah. you come here i must get your sword back sword my sword hangs here at my side no the sword my father forged for you one of those thieves stole it from me they almost Bastard. killed him and he already wants to go back takes after his father i suppose lad I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. God, this guy is so full of, like, I understand. morals I and values. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. A woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? Mm. There's no fool. Preach. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. <laughs> so okay, that's right. True. What you say is certainly true. <laughs> except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Just in my light here, guys. Sorry. How do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. True. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. Mm. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Mm. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. Oh! He isn't a peasant father, he's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. Savage. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. I think it. in all likelihood, they'd have probably, probably, like, hired and quartered this guy. <laughs> Henry, you're a lucky fucker. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. No, he's fortunate to still be alive. The boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove Perhaps. valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear, you're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely yeah. on it, sir. Get him. Don't forget, Henry. Get him. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. What are you doing creeping around go. like a footpad? Oh, wait. Do I even have a torch? In this game, and I think I've mentioned this previously, if you guys have listened or, or watched any of my um, uh, recordings or streams about this, you have to have a torch. If you do not walk around at night with a torch... Whew. You know, what time am I supposed to do that? Okay, because I might just, like, sleep in for the night on these raggedy-ass mats.
I think I can do that. It, sometimes with these quests in this game, if you if you're not like uh, going and doing the quest like right away, um, sometimes you can fail them. Uh, sometimes they're time sensitive, and that's something else I admire about the game. But I also like just be able to go out and do my own thing and take care of quests whenever I want. Um, there is a slight element to that, but not entirely. So hopefully. That wasn't one that I needed to, to go back and do. Hopefully I can still... Okay, I didn't get, like, a quest failed or anything. I do really need to get go and go some new clothes. I look like shit. And I think having, like, a set of clothes that's nice and a set of clothes that's, like, for my armor will be beneficial. And then when I'm walking around town and stuff and places where I know I'm not going to get jumped, not having that armor will be fine. Now, I mean... Nope, nope, that didn't heal me up at all. For fuck's sake, man. I thought... Sleeping wood, but I guess I need to get more of that marigold. Yeah, I guess I need to get more of that marigold. Well, maybe I get some from the L house. Ah, fuck. Goodbye. It's not late enough. Here, let me wait until 10. And we'll see. There we go. We'll wait until 10. Uh, it's usually the time when the shopkeepers come out. And it's also how it was in Oblivion. One of my favorite video games. Uh, Oblivion is so good. So good. I know a lot of people say that um, Morrowind's best Elder Scrolls. Um, I don't know. It just, it just was really hard for me. I guess I'm just a bitch. But I had such a hard time with Oblivion. It was just too hard. I guess I'm just a bitch. But I had a really hard time with Obliv with uh, Morrowind. Enough is enough. I'm really sick of upstarts who think the law doesn't apply to them. Don't tell me that you don't know everyone has to carry a light at night. Oh. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. What? All right. Here you are. <laughs> you paid for your crimes. It was it was daytime. I hope you've learned your lesson. Motherfucker. I also like how it's like a fine. I'm pretty sure like in medieval times if you did shit like that, you'd just get like, beaten. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Oh, where's that nest? Nest, nest, nest. There it is. Is that the nest? Is that a nest? Is that it? No, that's not a nest. Is it? Could be a nest. There's the nest. We'll just... Let's hope I don't get a fine for this. Hell yeah. Probably not worth the arrow I spend on it, but maybe I can find the arrow. Yep, there we go. Broken arrow. I'm sure that's useful somehow. Uh, da -da 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 -da. He's not going to have what I want. So I'm also working on trying to get the, the camera work better for this thing, and I have some ideas. Um, this angle isn't super flattering, and you can see my mic and um, my uh, uh, pop filter. Um, so that's an issue too. So I'm still working on trying to get the proper... I'm trying to get like the proper setup going here. And if you don't like something, please, please feel free to let me know um, how I can maybe improve. I do have a couple ideas that I'm planning on going through to get this all looking better. Um, it's just going to take some time. Um, I'm hoping to get the quality like up, up, up for these. And I think if you've watched some of the earlier videos, the quality has definitely improved a little bit. Um, I'm still working on like trying to figure out what stream settings I should use, and I'm still working on trying to figure out um, exactly what uh, 
the camera settings I should use and all of that to make this look as good as possible. Um, and, and so that way, like my computer and, and, and setup can work most efficiently. Um, because again, it's not, it's not like the greatest setup in the world. So we'll get there guys. We'll get there. Just let me know. Um, if you think something shit, please feel free. If you think I'm a piece of shit, I can take criticism guys. I went to film school and they beat me up there. So like not physically, but everything I did was shit and they told me so. Got me some of that. That is an expensive potion. And then I think if I put this in like an actual like pot, it'll work better, but um, I'm just gonna take it. Ooh, shirt's done. It's done for. Gonna get me a new shirt. Um, yeah, like I think I'll do that next. So I apologize, I haven't really been doing a lot um, just kind of been running around um, um, and whatnot, but you know, hopefully you guys are getting a feel for the game and a love for the atmosphere and etc. And give me some clothes. Let's see. I'm talking about trade. Uh, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a yellow hood. I like it. Uh, we'll do that. Let's get us some pants. We need some pantaloons, guys. Yellow hose. And we're a little short. Let's sell some things. Um... What do I have that they might want to buy? Well, I need the hunter's gloves. The noble shoes, I kind of want to keep. Well, let's go back to the basket. I don't, I don't need these hoes. Uh, we will remove those. Let's see what they're selling. I need some kind of pants, but all the pants are kind of expensive. I think, I think we'll go with what we got going on here, so. Yeah, I think we're good to close the deal. So I'm gonna walk around town without all of this extra shit on. So we'll get armor, take off a green shirt, the hunter gloves, it's jerkin. I don't need this on. Oh. Well. Let's see if I can find a cheaper shirt. Maybe he's got one. Handy implements and machines of every kind. Good day to you. What do you need? May the Lord watch over. God, if only I had the gold. Okay. Well. Probably take off uh, these as well. Just kind of going around not looking like a piece of shit, you know what I mean? Although I do need to get me a shirt. Oh well. You know what? Ah, uh, no. Fuck it. Fuck it. Forget it. Forget about it.
All right, now that we're outside the gate. Yeah, I think we're looking okay there. This is the good stuff here. My respects to you. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy, Sir Radzik sent. Sure am. That's me. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Good luck okay. to you. Let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Good. Good. Hey, that's it. Well done. Not bad. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Not bad. Nice. All right. All right. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, okay. let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Good. see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Good. Ow. No. Ow. Wrong, damn it. Ah. Very good. Ah. Nice. Ow. All right. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Ow. Ow. See, I lure you, then attack unexpectedly. Good strike. Fine, 
enough. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Nice. Well done. Well done. All right. Well done. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. Boop knocks the blade aside. No, not like that. You mustn't hold the sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Good. Nice. Nice. That's the trick that I want to learn. Want to learn. Right. Now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Ah, that's it. this uh, wooden sword here. <laughs> Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Yeah. What is it? Sudden dislocation by the Holy Spirit? All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Not like that! Oh. Wrong, damn it! Very good. Well 
done. Not that. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Ah, that's it. Ah. Ah. Ah, that's it. Ah, that's it. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Mm. Not like that! <sighs> Not bad. <sighs> well done. <sighs> nice. <sighs> Not bad. Good. Well now, that wasn't too bad. We'll Maybe we'll make a soldier out of you, you yet, kid. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Mm -mm. Practice. Mm. Okay. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Damn. No, I know a little bit about archery. Just, uh... I shot a deer. Well, I shot a deer once, and then I beat it down with my sword after it ran into a tree. God. I swear to God, dude. My crouch speed is faster than these fools. Lad, you need to shit? <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> That's almost as good as the old Argonian joke. Uh, why did Khajiit lick their butts? To get the taste of Khajiit food out of their mouths. <laughs> this whole game was worth the $60 I spent on it when it first came out. Just for that line. Dude, bruh, you're so slow. Alright, are you guys ready to watch me get my ass kicked by a Let's see. <sighs> Double Go and stand in standard position over there. And we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, okay. Captain. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks. Get in position. This guy doesn't like me. I don't blame him. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. You wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. <laughs> but enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back. Please tell me one movement. The arrow aiming at the target, flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better Oh my god, dude, shut up. So fast you won't see them. 
Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. And you've only shot an arrow. Anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. Mm. What did you say? Calm down, Ooh, boy. Keep in mind yeah. who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Uh, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. <clears throat> Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. I didn't I didn't want to do this just so you're all uh, aware Fuck. Guess this guy's just bad with a bow too. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day. Did I win that? Fuck, I man. You, I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during <sighs> the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know. He explicitly what told me. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Oh, I guess. Excellent. Then let's go. Oh wait. You'll get what It also sucks that, like, his damage does way more than mine. I've hit him more than he's hit me. Combat. Come and get it. 
He's just holding up a block, like, God. Like, he's just holding it in one spot. It's fucking annoying. He's not even swinging anymore. Up, dude. I guess I won that sword well, fight. You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. <laughs> He's all bloody. <laughs> Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Thanks, brat. He's still holding his arms up. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's like that for the rest of the game. Fuck yeah, dude. Got me a new bow. I mean, all of my armor is basically done. But, hey, I got me a new bow. Actually, that's worth some gold, too. Put on these bracers. Yeet. I'm gonna sell these shitty bows now. Alrighty. Yeah, they fucked up my shit, but whatever, man. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it back. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Adzik's protection. To be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now go to the roundhouse. Philip's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. All right, bruh. We'll do this bailiff challenge, and then I'll I'll go see about like slaughtering bandits. Make some money that way. Hey, hold right 
He's still holding his arms up like that. Bruh. Oh. Homeboy wants to talk to me. Yes, sir? What? Such are my orders. Search me, if you bruh. insist. I haven't stolen All's shit. Well, mind how you go. Hmm. I ain't no thief. Except when I do thieve. That's fucking hilarious. It's so fucking hilarious. This game's broken. Much better, much better. Um, I think the blacksmith's actually up here. Which is who I want to talk to, so. I'll sell my old bull to the blacksmith. I think that's why I won. I probably would have lost, honestly. The last time I played this, I beat him in the bow on accident. You. What do you need? Take care now. Good health, dear. Good health to you, sir. Let's talk trade. Oh, I didn't put on my plate. Whatever, man. Um, build your ash bow. Oh. Close the deal. But yeah, my armor looks like trash. I really need to get some better armor, but I'm not going to be able to do so until I can actually start getting some moolah which might not happen for a little bit so you guys are gonna see me walk around in like this dirt attire even my my nice shirt's getting a little although i'm gonna just put that on while i'm in town oh it's like putting a cherry on a dog shit a little bit a little bit The meat store. The meat store. Now, hopefully... Yeah, so I think I'll keep selling when I get stolen goods to the miller. Um, not that I steal often, but you know how it goes. Uh, I think... Bailiff's not in here, is he? That'd be weird. Bailiff, where are you, where are you, where are you at, bruh? There he is. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Don't even talk to me. <laughs> I'm to put myself under the Bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very Don't well. Even Sir talk Radzig to asked me. me to test you a little. And as it happens, you've come at the right time. We have a few disputes to settle. It seems okay. some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was okay. hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Maybe. You can count on me, Bailiff. Mm -hmm. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Yes, I have. And I don't think the good captain took much of a liking to me. Well, he's a man of choleric temperament. But the fact that Sir Radzik has taken you into his retinue is very unusual. A lot of people are talking about you. Hey! Oh, this is wonderful. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, okay. Nightingale, they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. Okay. But you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Good luck to you. 
Alright, let's go get this go get this gear. You know I know I quit playing this game before, but I'm really enjoying it again. Like this is a good time. Thank you for watching if you are watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I think I'm gonna buy this get this gold and then I'm going to sign off for this video. Because you know how it goes. Um, am I supposed to go? Um, I think this video's gotten a little long. And um, we'll probably split it. I'll probably continue playing, though. And we'll make another video for you guys. So. Where am I getting this from? Quest giver. Guild patrol. Quest giver, I think. Is he the quest giver? What am I? Okay, so I need to inventory. Um, quest log. Keeping the peace. In order to become optional, pick up your kit from the lower room in the armor. Oh, okay. Yep. I will pick up my kit from the armorer. It is optional, but maybe he'll have some good shit for me. I don't know. Good day to you. What do you need? May the Lord watch over you. Is it, is it down here? The kit. Nope, this is a private area. Good health to you. Take care now. Am I supposed to get... Jesus Christ, this guy's stuff is expensive. Let's see what the artisans. Take care now. Nope, this is the same. God, I do not have that kind of dough. Because I'm peasant. Is it down here? Maybe. Better get out. I'm just looking for my, uh... Ah, got it. Got it. I'm a big dummy. One thing you guys are going to see a lot of is uh, me being stupid. Let me talk to this guy. Have a drink. Maybe I should go get that guy some water, yeah? I feel bad for him. Good day to you. Something to drink. Uh, that's 106. I don't know if I want to spend that much money on all that. Not just this yet. Here, let's get him some wine. Um, I might be able to get... Oops. Check the basket. Close the door. Let's get this. See if this guy will take some wine. Thank you. Thank you a hundredfold. I'm a good boy. I try. I try. You know, Henry might be the kind of guy who is, like, stealing people and robbing the dead and doing dumb things that people tell him not to do. But at least he gives wine to people who are town drunks inside the stockade. Such a small guy, Henry. I love ya. I love ya. Alrighty. And we're gonna run around. Yeah, so I will go get this equipment, we will stop the video here, and then I will start another one. Um, yes, that is what will happen. Um, hope you have been enjoying this. I really enjoy this game. I hope you guys get a little 
little love out of as well. Um, maybe this guy? I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And? In fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola. Hmm, yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. Do you want a kiss and a hug as well? Yes, I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Oh, I padded armor. I'm all down with that. So let's put it on. So we got this bludgeon. We've got this common bason. And then we've got this padded armor. Very nice, very nice. Much better than that stupid shirt I was wearing. Um, and then we'll put these on. Oh, but those... And then there's these, which are better. And there's my two-piece kettle helmet. Which my two-piece kettle helmet is better than the common bassinet. But I think we'll go with the common bassinet just for the sake of what this is and what we're doing right now. So... I'm going to save and quit, which is something that I like to do instead of saving. Sometimes I will save and quit, open the game back up, and continue where I left off. It is much cheaper and better than using safe schnapps. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a day.